Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the magician of this today's magic trick, and I need an assistant. So, pop whoa, that was a nice magic trick. Yeah, Doctor, you can't, they can't see your face. Well, we have seven more tricks now to show you. Let's get started with the first trick. The first trick is by my brother. Be the, me the magician. Wait, this is magic trick. Wait, so first we'll show you what we have in store for us today. Okay, today we have this nickel. Okay, this nickel right here. And we're going to put it <gasps> into this compartment. There we go. Now, can you put this into here? Let me just show you. Now, wave your wand over this. Wave Ready? Wave. Abracadabra. Okay, please open your hands together. Disappeared. That is a disappearing nickel. We'll teach you the secret right now. The secret is simpler than you think. There's just two compartments in here. One with the nickel, one without. And then you need this magic thing. So the magic thing has a kind of stick inside it that pushes the compartments to the side. So basically it pushes the compartments up like this to, to close the nickel side and then open the disappearing side. Once you make the coin disappear, don't shake it, or it will fall out, and they'll, or they'll hear that there's a coin somewhere inside, and that reveals a secret to them, which you don't want to do. So, that is the secret for the disappearing coin trick. Hello, guys. I'm the magician. Once back again, and my brother is especially going to do the spikes. Coins. Spikes through coin. Okay. So we have this coin right here. It's fully whole, right? And now we're going to put it um, through this thing, okay? It has holes for spikes to go through, okay? And we're going to take this and put it on top. Okay, now it's closed. The coin's locked in here. You can hear it. Now let's just carefully put the coin, the spikes through. Me thinking, well, maybe... This is too big. It's just going through the outside, and the, it's not even touching the coin at all. Well, you'll be surprised at the end when we actually have the middle. I'm going to do that last. It's the best part. That's how more audiences are dazzled. You do the best part last, and they're like, whoa, that's amazing. We thought it was simple till now. Spike it in. We have four coin spikes. We have four spikes through the coin. Now look for the last and middle one. This may also be the trickiest one. There we go. Got it through. Five spikes through the coin. Oh, yeah. I. So should I tell you that the coin's in harm? Take the first one out. Take the second one out. Take the third one out. Take the fourth one out. Take the middle one out. Now... Listen, guys, do you know why? Because the coin's still there. Guess what? Still there. And it's unharmed. I'll teach you the oh. secret right now. now. To reveal the secret for this trick, I introduce the magician ourselves. My wand, my heart. Okay, reveal the secret now. Okay, so... So, there's no so, trick in the coin case or spikes. It's no magic hole in the coin. Okay, so, when you put the, when, the coin is in the box, right? So, yeah, when you put the first spikes, make sure you put it in the outer edges. Outer edges. Like so the here. outer ones. Not, not the middle. middle at all. When you do it, the coin flips over like like this instead when it's actually this then it's easier to put all the spikes back at the and end, that's the choice at the end of this trick you saw that i just shake it a bit to show that the coin was but yeah there. but that's because if you just take it off without shaking it it will stay like this and they'll will be in the upright position and, and they will know the secret so when you shake it it'll just go like this it'll be and, back to its flat position yes and they will know that it's real magic so on to the next My trick. trick now so for this next trick i have a prediction here i'm putting this on its chair it's secured okay. so 
My brother is going to do the magic trick, not the magician. Because I don't know this one. But he has to teach me it. When I reveal the secret. So, I'll so teach you he's going to do it with a bunch of cards here. Okay, so. Say stop whenever you want. Uh, I guess. Stop. Okay, you want to stop here. You see a card. This is your card. Wait, can I see it? Okay. Yeah. Do you guys at home see it? That's your. That's the card. Okay. We'll put it back anywhere on the deck. Now, do you want to shuffle this up? I don't know how to shuffle. I'll just try my best. Yeah, and then put that at the back like that. Okay. He's shuffling it up. Okay, ready? No. Nope. Do you want to see the predictions that I wrote at the starting of this? You want to see it? Yeah. What is it? On this tissue paper, I have written the nine of spades. Has it come true? Yes, no. it has. We'll reveal the secret right now. The secret to this is really simple. So you just write down the card that is on the bottom of the deck. In this case, it's a jack of hearts. Then what you do is you just um, open this up a little like this. So then, um, so I'm pretending that I'm the person that's doing it, and they keep doing it like this. Like they this. Tell you when to stop. And you know what? The you know what you need to do is that when, let's say, they have this much pulled back. You just you don't pull actually it like poke their card. You're just actually looking. It's like you're pulling the card out, but you're actually pulling the bottom yeah, card out. Yeah, you're pulling the bottom card out like this, and then to the. That's, so that's how you card. force the card. You can do multiple tricks with it. Just make sure you know what the bottom card is. Go ahead. <laughs> so just to show it again, you need to do it like this. Um, shuffle it. Shuffle it. Oh, this is good enough. And then just pull it up like this. Food fast, they don't eat. If they stop at the first card, it's actually pretty simple. You just do it like, you act like you're pulling it up, but you actually pull that one up. So oh. that is the secret for the mind reading predicting card. I don't know the name of the trick. Trick. This next trick is the ancient linking rings trick. We have two rings. One, two, three. And it's together. Pull it apart. You can't. You can't pull it apart. Because it's a magic linking rings. Okay, now you're thinking, well, you can do this trick only once. It's permanent. Well, no, it's not. One, two, three. Try to do it again. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's a magic linking ring trick. We'll tell you the secret right now. Oh, so, the magic linking rings. Okay, so, for this trick. So, I can't barely see you, but I'll tell you. So, I'll put a part there. So, as you can see, there's some holes. in the hole in the other. So, I think you should explain the rest. Okay. So, you know there's a hole. Well, it's all about angles, the rest. We broke one of these rings, actually, trying it. When you do it, when you start, you need to put these like this. Remember, both cracks need to be lined up. You can't do it like this, where the rest is sealed. You need to do it at both cracks. So you start like this, one, one. You need to do it at a slightly 45 degree angle below. One, two, three. It takes a little practice, but you get it. Then when you pull apart, you need to do it straight. One, two, three. It doesn't work if you do it straight like this because it just slips to the side or it just gets stuck like this. One, two, three. Like that. So you need to, you need to do it all about angles. So one, two, three. Sometimes I just messed up, but the others it works. So practice a lot. One, two, three. Then one, two, three. So that's the secret of the magic linking ring. This next trick is more like a challenge that I need, that I two need to try. But I have to solve. Okay, ready? So we have the cup set up like this. You have six different turns to move the cup. So you can move it upside down. You have six different chances to do that. No more, no less. You have to use all of them. And you need to make sure all of them are facing up. So we'll do that. But or the face, yellow one should. No. Yeah, this is how you set it up. If you set it up the wrong way with this facing down and these facing up, the goal is to get them all facing down. So the goal is different by the way you set it up. Okay, ready? One, 
two, three, four, five, six. They're all facing up. So, we'll do it one more time. Then Ash, you can try it. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, well, okay. Ashu's turn to do this trick. Okay, you have six turns. Do the first one. <sighs> I'll do this. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. No, I'll give you one more try, okay? Okay. Use this try wisely. Okay, oh, so that. it starts like this. Oh, yeah. No, no, it starts like this. Okay, six more turns. One. Two. Three. Four. Stumped. Five. One more try. And no, six. We'll tell you the secret of the cops right now. The secret is actually really simple. It's just the order you do it. So this is the, what I did. Whoa, blowing through the magic wand, huh? Oh, no, I didn't know that. So, I'll give you some more powers. Okay, so this is the way you do it. You need to do it in order. Okay, so you go one, two, one, three, one, two. You know, we had it set, it set up like this. But if you set it up like this, then if you just do the same thing, one, two, one, three, one, two, they'll all be facing down. So it's the way you set it up, but it's the same algorithm. Um, make sure you do it fast so the um, other person who's trying to do it too won't see it. And that is the magic cup turnover trick. For this next trick, it's a dice. Look through this box here. Now you have, I have a dice here. Choose any number and put it facing towards them. Any number towards them and, and insert it in the box. Okay, can you please give it to me? What number do you choose? Oh, I'll show it to audience too. So, can you move? Uh, there we go. Okay, I'll tell it out loud if you can't see it. Okay, so six. So I'll put so, it. No, I got it. So you can put it like this. Six facing this way, right? Yeah. Just enter the six. Now, we just push it through and we get the number one. This is a magic dice changing trick. Okay, we'll reveal the secret right now. Okay, so it's actually pretty simple. There's two dice. And you've got the rest. Just make sure the number that you put in beforehand is not the same as the number that you choose. Um, so if they choose, if I put the number three and they said number three, and I'll say, do you want to choose something different or do you want to do the same? And I think they'll most likely do the same to mess up the trick a bit more. So that is a secret for the dice trick. Now on to the final trick. For this final trick, I have to hand it over to him. This whole time, wait, should yes. I take my hat off? Yeah, he's been wearing one cloth. Is that all? Two cloths. Is that it? <gasps> Three cloths. Wow, magic. Okay, the secret oh is pretty gosh. simple. The secret is pretty simple. There's just an extra compartment in the hat. So you just wear it until here, and then there's the extra compartment. So I can wear it when the extra compartment is above me. Like this. So that is the secret to the final trick, the magic cat. So this was all the tricks. And thanks for watching. And I appear at the beginning. So I think thanks you need to make me disappear now. I think you need to make me disappear now. Three, two, one. Hi, guys. I hope you enjoy our video. Please put some more comments if you think we should do more magic tricks. And see ya.